I'm in South Africa on the Breada River. I've hooked a creature so strong, there's no way it should ever be in this river. And it's running, that's running, it's running. Look at that, it's really cutting sideways there, really cutting sideways. Oh, that was really heart stopping when the, it suddenly goes slack and you think it's off and then it's off. There's tension there again, it's probably kicking or rolling on the line even. This apex predator is not accustomed to this kind of treatment. There he is. Instead of running away, it's coming in to check me out. I can't imagine what the shark is making of this experience. It's gone again. With a lot of fish, you see them up on the surface, you see them close in, you think that's it, they're nearly done there. I think this one was just coming up partly out of curiosity. What's all this? What's happening? Now he's checked me out. He's not coming anywhere near again. Last time, the shark brought things to an early end by rolling on the line. This one seems set for the long haul. Two hours. Two hours. It's a different phase of the fight now. It was tearing around, you know, using speed in the early stages. There it is again, there it is again, there it is again. Yeah, there's definitely some tactics going on. The speed didn't work, so now just uh, a bit of a war of attrition. Ah, this is punishment. Two hours into the fight, the shark begins pulling the boat towards some shallows. We're under three meters now. By now, the battle is beginning to attract attention. This is turning into an event. Everyone wants to see this shark. I can see the fish, I can see the fish. Back to two meters. If my line catches a rock down there, it could cut through and the shark will be gone. Okay. We've got to get away from the rocks, it does. Uh, we're still in two meters now. I've got a boat full of scientists relying on me to get this shark in. The tension on board is palpable. Four meters. Yeah. Okay, I've got right. I've got the line. If it goes, it can go without the line catching anybody. Put that line round the right. Have you got the toe, toe strap round? Yeah. Good. Okay, brilliant. Got a good hold. Yeah. Okay. This is my biggest catch ever, and two and a half hours is by far my longest fight. It's astonishing to think that I've hauled this beast from a river. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I was lucky to get it in at all, because it was foul hooked in the side, snagged on a flap of skin between the gill slits. The scientists want to know why the sharks are here. Right, this is like a sort of time is of the essence. And they're actually, they're starting to pump water to irrigate the gills. That buys a little bit more time. Last year's giant catch was a heavily pregnant female, which led the scientists to assume she was in this river to deliver her two-foot-long pups. Our expectation is that this fish, too, is female. Three, two, one. It's a male! Our first catch, and we have answered one of our questions. It looks like the Breada River is a place where sharks come to feed. Three, two, one. Nine and a half feet, and with an estimated weight near 500 pounds, he's one of the largest bull sharks ever caught anywhere, and I'm returning him back into the river. Well over 100 pounds and just what an amazing setting to catch it from. The fisherman was actually half inside the mouth of the fish, just the legs of the fisherman sticking out.